Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today we are doing a player comparison video. You guys know the top two draft prospects, Kayvon Tewo, I'm just going to say that for the sake of this video, and Aiden Hutchinson. Now a quick disclaimer, I am a Michigan fan, so I'm going to try not to be biased, but take it with a little grain of salt. So yeah, we're going to be breaking down some film, and yeah, let's get right into it. Now the first, Aiden Hutchinson coming in at six foot six or six foot eight, uh two hundred sixty eight pounds. Fourteen sacks this year. Yes, it's crazy. Lots of tackles, a beast. Let's get into it. Now look at this play, I'm gonna point out one thing. Look at that. Okay, no, I'm not not that, sorry. This is now look at that. He's behind the quarterback. Now the first thing I wanna bring up with Aiden Hutchinson is his change of body position. It doesn't matter if he's beside you, behind you, or in front of you. If you try to run away from him, he can just simultaneously just f just change his body direction or do a complete 180 while simultaneously going into a tackling motion. Like right here. Looks like Stroud's gonna, you know, escape from him. But, well, look what happens. He changed. See, look, look at that. He changed his body position with a complete 180. You're going to see a better view of it. Okay. See, right there. Do you think any, most defensive ends, they can, yeah, they can switch their body position like that, but it takes them a few seconds to, to turn their body around completely, like do a complete 180 to try to get, like it would be like if you were facing backwards to forwards, and he just turns his body all the way around simultaneously while doing the sack. Yeah, and I'm gonna show you another. It's against Rutgers. Now here, again, doesn't matter if he's beside you. Looks like he's gonna outrun him, right? He's facing, he's facing to the left, his left. Now look, he just changes his whole entire body position to to face forward. He did that. He did this all simultaneously. He went from here, facing that way, to this, and all in one big leap. That's huge in the NFL because you know quarterbacks like Kyler Murray, uh, Russell Wilson, Lamar Jackson. It doesn't matter because if he, he's in your general facility. He's gonna bring you down. Now the next thing I want to bring up is his his elite handwork, if you want to call it. His hands. He can use it to shove players. He can use it to, to push players past him. He can use it to get tackles. Okay, look at this. He shoves him aside, and he gets leverage using his hands. Leverage is when you know you got the upper hand. He does all of this just basically using his hands and speed and again I'm gonna bring up his body changing he's facing this way sorry about that um of how he changes his body his body position again look at that yeah but as I was saying like Aiden Hutchinson uses his hands to get leverage Puts a side offensive lineman. Get get to players. See, look, he uses. Sorry. See, look, he uses his hands as lever to shovel across there. And look, he has his hands right on his back. He just like whoop, throw him off. Boom. His hands are his key and change. Let's look at that again. Just shoves him off, shoves him off, gets him down. Now again, look look at his hands. Or no, that's more of just a great overall play. Now look at, this is another play with it, with his hands, okay? Look at this. Just uses it to shove it, to shove him aside. And he uses it to absolutely leapfrog on him. Like, he uses his hands. He may not have the greatest finesse moves compared to Thibaut, 
but there's it's still dang good. Look at that. And now look at that. That's key. Now look, he uses his, I already showed you how he can use his hands to to get past pass rushers, but he can also use it for tackling. Look at that. See? He uses his hands to to reach out and grab on. Thing. See, look again. This is again with the body position positioning. See? It looks like he should escape him. But you know, that long arms and hands to get him. And I don't really think I need to prove my point. He uses his hands and body positioning so that even if, if he, the quarterback's in your general facility or vicinity, he's getting you down. So, I don't know, you might get a rush to the other side of the field to get away from him. Now, see, look, he uses his hands to get by. And look, again, he's facing a totally different direction. Looks like he's gonna escape. Nope, changes his body position and reaches out in a tackling motion simultaneously. Okay? That is elite. And my second, and my, and my third point actually, it's you probably already noticed this, but his freak athleticism. And his freak athleticism, he's already built like an NFL player. There's a lot of defensive ends that don't know how to play in the NFL good because they either get overpowered or outmatched or people are bigger or stronger than them kind of like most of the Michigan team against Georgia but Aiden Hutchinson's already built like an NFL player he's he's basically TJ Watt now I'm gonna go back to that first play okay oh sorry my internet's crapping out Now, this offensive tackle is a second round projected in the second all-team Big Ten. He uses his freak athleticism to jump out and get the tackle. Like, if he didn't have those lengthy arms and the strength that he had, he would have gotten blown back. Which, I'm going to tell you, his athleticism helps him get tackles, helps him with his power moves and bull rush tremendously. He just doesn't get overpowered. I'm going to go back to that Northwestern play that we just had. Get to see his lovely face. Now this, you really think that a skinny kind of, like, you really think that an outside linebacker or, like, somebody who's not that athletic would be able to do this. I don't think this is going to work as well in the NFL. But, yeah, just, just overpowering him like that. Like, that's pure athleticism, football IQ, body positioning, and tackling. And see, look, he has the strength to hang on. He's, like, tackling him with one arm. Look at that power. That's just pure athleticism. And I and this play, you guys already, this is a wild play. Just absolutely jumps on him, rips it out. I don't really think I need to explain. He's already, he's like a JJ, he's like a Watt brother. Or Joey Bosa. This guy is just insane. Again, pure athleticism. It's actually insane. And next, I'm going to bring up the football IQ. I'm going to go back one, one last time. The football IQ is already NFL. Most defensive ends will try to do a spin move or some crazy, like, I don't know, stupid stuff, but... But like Hutchinson, he's better than that. I'm gonna show you in this view. Okay, see, like he he can barely see him, but he already knows that C.J. Stroud is probably gonna step up in the pocket. That's IQ because most defensive ends wouldn't just assume that he's gonna step up in the pocket. They try to they try to you know get around him. But no, he has the IQ to cut up and he knows exactly where Stroud is going to be just insane again he again most a lot of people would just try to bull rush that 
running back will try to get around him, but Hutchinson knows the quickest way is through or to cut to the side. The fastest way to get to there is not to run around the field and get it. No, it's to cut inside. And you, he has, he has talent, and he knows how to use how to use it. That is, that is scary. Sorry, I keep stuttering. Nope, it has the ability to cut in. That is, oh no, I don't know what else I can say to you guys. He's just a beast. His athletic. I'm gonna go back to the athleticism part, okay? He uses athleticism to get to be a for sure tackler and his bull rush. This play, yeah, um, this is his athleticism. Because the main thing that I'm saying with Hutchinson is if he's in your general vicinity, he's gonna tackle you. Like, I keep saying that. He has athleticism, he can tackle you, he. He can cut inside, use his IQ, change his body position, stop the run, because a lot of defensive ends also can't do that. Just lunge him at him. Now let's look at this. We're gonna just we're gonna watch this whole thing, bro. This is again his hands. But just hit the hit the athleticism to become a for sure tackler, and he changes his body position again. I know it sounds like I'm repeating myself, but he does all the three things I've talked about in one against Michigan State. Unfortunately, we couldn't win in that one. But yeah, he uses his hands to get around the the offensive lineman, throwing escapes, uses his athleticism to hang on, and then changes his body position while being a for sure tackler. Uses his hands to shove him off. Uses his athleticism to hang on and then changes his body position. Again, football IQ. If you can don't go around him, go through him. And that's athleticism too. His bull rush, which I was talking about. Just overpowering the offensive lineman. Too strong. Uses his freak athleticism to help him be a for sure tackler. Because you see a theme. He always just reaches out to tap. Like, I think we've already talked about his strengths enough. To recap, he's a guy who has smart football IQ, who's a for sure tackler, and can bull rush you, and has amazing power rush moves because of his freak athleticism. And he can use his hands effectively, for sure tackler. He can change his body position, and if he's in your general area, he's going to get you. Oh yeah, and I forgot to say the biggest thing about Hutchinson that people are raving about. He never takes a play off. Seriously, I know this is a, only a four minute high right, highlight reel, more like a five minute actually, but he doesn't take a play off. He doesn't. But yeah, now unfortunately we got to talk about his weaknesses. He, he needs to improve his finesse moves and get to get around the passer because I know I was raving about him like not trying to run around but he needs to develop some sort of like because he doesn't really get around which in the NFL you kind of need to you know set the edge because whenever he tries to run around the offensive lineman it fails see look he's trying to get him from behind but the offensive lineman's already got him and if Hutchinson didn't make that crazy move he'd just be sucked up there he needs to find a way to, instead of being sucked up, get past the offensive lineman when he's trying to run around. And again, in the Iowa play, yes, he gets around him, but I don't know. He just, in these clips, you don't really see him try to set the edge. He can do that. He can definitely do that, but most of the time he gets in through inside cut moves, power rushes. Or just reaching out and being a freak of nature but yeah he needs to learn how to do that open field speed is a struggle for him because Thibaut even though he's very very good at running an open field Hutchinson's not so if the quarterback somehow gets away from him and he doesn't use one of his moves I was talking about Hutchinson's probably not catching him uh, and yeah like I can't really think of that much negatives. He's very, very good. And 
Um, I give him an A for... He, I don't think he's quite Chase Young type draft prospect, but he's still very, very good. Now we're going to talk about a player very different from Hutchinson. Standing in... I, I forgot his weight, but he's a beast. Kayvon Tibadiox. He's a bit raw, but he has the talent. He has the athleticism. And he's got the speed. And yeah, he got seven sacks last year, but he was all injured. But he stepped up big in big games. Very, very, very good. And why, why do they have to copy and write me like that? I'm just, I'm going to mute the audio for this one. Uh, yeah, but first things first, I'm going to talk about his head start ability. I'm, I'm going to go to this play against California. Now, he gets very, very good jumps, which, which I talked about with Hutchinson. He gets leverage. Because of his quick jumps, and as soon as the ball is hiked, he's already in front of the California offensive lineman or any type of offensive lineman. Speed and finesse moves are his mojo. See, look, he's already ahead of the Cal offensive lineman because of his speed. And then he uses he can tackle him like that. An amazing. No, that play is not relevant to that. Again, amazing jump here against UCLA. See that? Already ahead of the offensive lineman, pretty much, and does that. Boom. He gets great head starts, and that's due with his speed. You guys already probably know from watching one minute of this. He has outstanding speed. Probably, he's probably, he's outmatches Hutchinson so much when it comes to speed and just finesse moves and every he's like Hutchins is more of like you know a, a freak of nature athleticism who can bull rush you and cut inside and use his hands you know kind of like the big this guy's he, he has good physical at he's good physically in athleticism he has the body to do it and he's also fast but not that like Hutchinson th I don't know but yeah See, he's just way too fast. Again, with this Fresno State clip, he gets to the quarterback in an instant. Now, I'm going to talk about his speed some more. With his speed, as soon as he's off of the block, he he gets to the quarterback quickly. Doesn't matter. As soon as he gets off the offensive lineman, he, he it just takes one more step and then he's to the quarterback because of his speed, which is going to translate well to the NFL because... If he managed to block shed the offensive lineman quickly, then he can get to the NFL. Then he can get to the quarterback as soon as he's off the offensive lineman. Like this. Okay, he's off the offensive lineman, he's good, but it's gonna take him a while to run all the way to the quarterback, right? Nope. Just takes him one, a couple steps, and a free tackle later. As soon as he's off the offensive lineman, he gets to the quarterback. See, look, he's off. He's off. Just one quick step later, he's on. Oh, see, look. I'm going to go back. He's off the offensive lineman, right? It's going to take him a while to get all the way over there, right? Nope. Just takes him one second later to get to the quarterback. As soon as he's off you, then he gets to the quarterback. Now next, I'm going to talk about how good he is at tackling in the strides he takes. Just what I, like I was talking about, one stride and he gets you, but you cannot break a tackle off this guy. And that I think that's gonna translate to the NFL level. Even though the Pac twelve isn't that good, I just feel like he's too good at tackling. Hutchinson, as I showed you, is a freak of nature with tackling, but I don't know, Tibble might be better with that. Cause look at this. Gets off. Boom. Tackle like that. As soon as he gets your hands on you, boom, tackles you. He has great form when he's tackling. See, a lot of, some defensive linemen would, you know, maybe miss the tackle. No, he hits, he hits hard, he hits in the right spots, and he, he doesn't miss. He really does not miss. See, look, 
he has your his hands on you. And usually, if you look at this, like, I don't know, if I had a guy's hands on my waist and stuff, I could probably slip off easily. No, because he's so strong and good at tackling, he hits him hard. N don't take that out of context. But. Boom. Yeah. And next, I'm going to talk about his strength. It's not nearly as good as Hutchinson. No, 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 no. But it's still present. I'm not going to spend that much time on this. But, yeah, use it. Gotta go to the UCLA clip. See, look, the strength. His strength is not more like his body. It's more in his arms. Because the strength. You know how he's hitting all these quarterbacks hard? Like, it's because of his strength. That makes him a hard hitter. He can shove you back with his arms. See, look, strength leads to hard hits, force fumbles, a little bit of power moves. Strength, he can only, this is pure athleticism, strength, speed, tackle. You know it. I'll show you that again. Now, the last, thing, the last strength I want to talk about is his, I already talked about his finesse moves. I hope I, because, you know, but part of that, his hands. This I, The same thing with Hutchinson, but with Hutchinson, he uses his hands to, you know, overpower guys, get the tackle, um, maybe do a little, like, j like fancy stuff. But he, he uses it purely because of finesse. Purely finesse. Look at the clip with Fresno State. He uses his hands to get off there and speed. This is all of his hands, and is just how smooth he is with it. I'm gonna go back to the play against Northwestern. Look at right there, right there. As soon as he was holding on, pushes off with his hands, gets it. You know, he does that thing where like he shakes it around a little bit, his hands. He uses that for finesse, he uses it perfectly. See, this is a great view. Uses his hands to get leverage again. Like I talked about, see, look, get le he gets leverage with his jump, speed, and hands. He uses that. No, I want to go back to that play, okay? Pause. Look at his hand right there. It's already on the shoulder, and then he just pushes off, gets to the quarterback because of his athletic. You already know that he's kind of different from Hutchinson. You know, speedy, finesse move, little, I don't know, maybe a a little bit more fun to watch but yeah but his flaws he needs to develop a bull rush because Hutchinson needs to develop running around the quarterback and speed and stuff he needs to develop what Hutchinson has a lot of which is his bull rush he needs to learn you know how to just truck the offensive lineman use his strength to his advantage cut inside he needs to find a because offensive linemen are going to eat you up if you only do one move. Because if he continues to rely on his finesse, that's not going to work well. I also think he needs to put on a little bit more weight. Yes, he, he's just fine, but I feel like he needs to bulk up maybe just a little bit in the next level. I don't know. He needs to stop the run better. He is terrible at stopping the run. I don't have clips here to show you that, but trust me, he is pretty bad at against the run. He's very raw with that. And he needs to not do too much because yes his hands and everything it really helps him but sometimes it leads to his demise. I'm gonna show you this. Yes this is a grease. Where's that Northwestern player earlier? See, like, he just, I don't know, he just does too much sometimes. I cannot find the play. Sorry about that, guys. See, look, I know that this is kind of nitpicky, but he doesn't need to do that thing with his hands, like, 
he just does a little bit too much pre-snap sometimes. He has a great jump, but sometimes when he, he, I don't know, like, what does that do, like, with his hands, like, like, right there, I mean, like, just like that little, I don't know, he does too much, but yeah, other than that, he's a bit raw, but if he learns to, to bull rush, maybe put on some weight, do inside rushes, and not, and just be smart, I think he, I think he can be, he can probably be the next, like, Aaron Donald, so can Aiden Hutchinson, but yeah. After all this, who do I think is better? I'm going to have to say Hutchinson because I do think that Thibault is a little bit better of a pass rusher, because in college, Hutchinson was, but I think in the NFL level, finesse moves is more key than just, like, freak athleticism, tackling, and overpowering people. So, uh, I think, but I think Hutchinson's the more complete player because, you know, Tibbo sometimes takes a down off, but Hutchinson never takes a playoff. He can stop the run. He can he can get you with his hands. He can get you inside. He has football IQ. He's already built like an NFL player. But yeah, both of these fights are very good. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch a video about Akil Badu that I made, he's a baseball player, then you can do that. Or you can watch... A video of me ranting about Michigan losing to Michigan State in 2020. That was the pandemic year. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.